Okay, so now what we're going to do is make some corrective blend shapes on this guy on the, the variation of the three joint chore setup. So the very first thing that we need to do is actually do what's called a range of motion. And that's to actually put it in, in our animation curves. Uh, we want to actually animate these, these five joints here. Uh, these five joints and animate them out and actually extract uh, the shapes that happen for each extreme. So it's easier to show this than it is to talk about it. So if we come up here, you can see that I've just got some animation on the top lip and it's animating up to 15 degrees and then it animates back down again. And then from frame 40, we've got uh, some animation. And which joint did I animate next? We got some animation on the chin joint coming up and you can see that and then it returns back down to to, uh, to zero and then we've got it going down so we've got a bit of a stretch happening in the jaw and coming back up again and then now we've got the jaw top lip uh, which one is it a rotation coming down 50 degrees so we can see it sort of opening up now you'll notice with some of these these positions is that what actually happens when your jaw opens is that the the mouth sort of sucks in a little bit and the and the cheeks really come in and that's because the the face is really stretching it's trying to maintain its volume and a lot of this will sort of suck in this skinny flesh out here will suck in so what that's what we're doing with the corrective blend shapes is we're going to take these in the mud box and sculpt them up so you just go through all the different variations of the face you can sort of see these are the, the main key ones that I've picked out that I'd like to just tweak a little bit. And now what we want to do next is actually extract all of these. So uh, first of all, um, what we need to do is bring up our shelf. So I'm just going to come in here and bring up my shelf. And uh, I've got a couple of, I've got the Extract Deltas plugin here uh, that helps me out with this process. But for any of this, if you actually want to do this manually, to duplicate uh, a mesh that's got a skin on it, you just hit uh, Control D, find that mesh, you can see that we've got two faces here. And you just have to unlock the attributes and then you can move that face over. So that's what all we're doing here, but I've got a nice little script here, which is part of the Extract Deltas uh, plugin that we'll be using to create our, our uh, corrective shapes with, and that's just IC Duplicate Skin. So if we just hit that, you can see it sort of does it for us, so we can just move it out. Now I've got this first shape here happening uh, by itself, and first the first shape that we need is actually just the default zeroed out uh, blend shape. So just a completely zeroed out shape, we're gonna do that one first. And I'm just even going to come in and just uh, take smoothing off so I know that that's the blend shape. So then we're gonna come across here to frame 20, where I've got that jaw coming up, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So we just copy that, out it pops, and we've got that here. Now now I want to sort of name these guys. So we can just call this face default. And I'm going to copy that and paste it onto this guy. Oh, sorry. Copy that, paste it onto this guy. And this guy is called uh, lips lips up. Now it's important just to name these things to, to keep track of them. Uh, we're going to keep going with this. So what I'm going to do now is uh, duplicate all out all my extreme poses. Uh, so we've got a big list of faces here and then I'll come back and we'll continue with the next step. So I'll do that really quickly here now. All right, so now that we've got this, we've got uh, a big long list of uh, faces here, all with this, each extreme from our joints, and, and these are the correctives that we're gonna go into my box and quickly fix. And we don't have to, it won't take us a lot of time, so even though there's quite a lot of blend shapes here, uh, there's really not a lot happening uh, with the fixes that we have to make, so we'll see that this can be a fairly quick process. Now here's all our, our, uh, our actual uh, shapes here, so I'm just going to group all of these and then unparent them. My doesn't crash. Yes, there it goes. And uh, we've got here. These are the extreme, extreme blends. 
different shapes. Okay, so now that we've got these, what we want to do is we actually want to send them off to Mudbox and uh, import them in ready for, for them to be sculpt, sculpted. So the first thing that we want to do is actually just select our first default shape and we're going to simply export that away. But before we do that, we really need to have all the faces in exactly the same position. So I'm just going to do that, grab this guy here and I'm just going to isolate select so we can go show, isolate select, view selected. And that will bring that up. You see all our faces in the same position. And now what I want to do is open this up and we're just going to send the first one to Mudbox. So this is just a matter of going down to send to Mudbox, send as new scene. Okay, so this is all in real time. I haven't edited this. Mudbox pops up. Uh, here we have our face uh, ready to go, as you can see. And now what we need to do is we need to go back to Maya and we need to export each one of these guys as uh, <coughs> each one of these guys as uh, OBJs. So I'm going to do that in fast forward now. Um, export each one as OBJs, just with the same name of each one. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've got all those exported, we're really to go, ready to go into Mudbox and to import them in. So let's switch across to Mudbox here. And we've got this face, and we can select it down here in face default just in the object list. If you don't like that yellow, we just simply have to hit V and then click in the gray space and that will get rid of the, the yellow. Now we can go to layers and we need to be in sculpt layers. And what we can do is just add a new layer. Now, instead of going new layer, into our sculpt layers, we can just go import layer. So this is a fairly important sort of a step because we can we can now import these OBJs as sculpt layers. So we just want to do this and I'll do that really quickly one by one. We can just use these uh, default settings that work seems to work fine. Okay, so now that I've imported all of those as sculpt layers, you can see that we can just click on the visibility of each layer to see which shape it actually is. And the advantage of doing this is now we can actually see what the extremes are. And this comes in really handy because say that we've got the mouth opening, we really might want to actually just see what that looks like when we're testing out that face shape. So now it's just a matter of coming in and actually sculpting the fixes for these uh, for these shapes. So why don't we just do it just for one on the actual mouth open shape. And I'm going to come in here <coughs> and uh, with my Wacom now, switching to my Wacom, I usually use a mouse. And uh, come in here now, we're just using the default tools. So we need, to, really the grab tool is the main one to be used. Uh, we can just size that up a little bit. Make sure we're in mirror mode over here so that we can do that. And now we can sort of come in and oftentimes what I'll do too is I'll just duplicate uh, uh, a layer uh, just to, te te to check what the original one was. If I'm modifying something, I don't want to be able to see. Uh, I want to be able to see what the difference is. But in this case, I'm just going to do it really quickly so that just for the demo demonstration purposes. So what would happen is as the face sort of comes out, you can sort of see that it would sort of stretch a little bit. And in fact, maybe even the lips might be left a little bit behind and this lip area might become a lot thinner. Uh, additionally, we could have like the cheeks sucking in a little bit, just, just a touch and getting that little bit thinner. So this part's uh, got quite a lot of uh, skeleton underneath it, so perhaps the skin would just slide um, up and sort of over the face a little bit, but we want to keep, maintain that volume pretty well. Uh, so that not much is happening there. Uh, just maybe even the nose will come in slightly and around this area. And I can see just the weighting here. We could just sort of smooth that out. So I'm holding down the shift key now and just smoothing out this area just a touch uh, to try and get that sort of stuff working. So now we can test that out just by clicking it on and off. And you can see that we've just got a slight amount of squashing and stretching happening there um, as would happen on a face when it opens. Uh, now you can see in the back of the face here, we've got a bit of problems happening with the jaw where uh, again, we've got seams sort of happening and uh, the weighting is not sort of puffing out the back of the neck. 
So what we want to do there is just smooth that out as well. Just using the, the shift key, just smoothing that out a little bit. And what I want to do is fix up that shape. So come back here and sort of like pump, pump some of that out so that we can see how that will look. Again, using the smooth. Now the smooth tends to suck everything in, uh, as you can see. But we can then come back with a big brush and then pump it all out again. So we can sort of see how that will look all, all nicely going. Sorry, just hit the V key there. Just uh, go back to the, the grab tool. And I'm just doing this really quickly for us. Often I would take a little bit longer to get these shapes really right. Um, you can see this now. Oftentimes there's a bit of skin sliding happens with some of this stuff as well. Like the skin will actually slide over the jaw a little bit so you can sort of mimic that out a little bit. Maybe smooth it off a touch. Um, it's really up to you. I'm not going to spend too much time just in this demo, but this is where our our uh, our our blend shapes come in really handy because we can see how that's starting to work. Uh, I can see that that vertice there is not moving back. By the way, wireframe is just W if you want to toggle that on and off. I can sort of see how this is sort of coming back and, and kind of working there. Like I'm even fixing up some of the skinning. I only skinned this character up quite quickly, just making sure this is all nicely aligned and happening. So there we go. There's our, our corrective blend shape that's been fixed now. And what I'll do is go through and do it for the rest of this. I won't put this in fast forward, I'll just fix them all up now. Um, and then we'll uh, continue on with the second part of the lesson in the next video.